The experiment we have here is based on optical forces, and this is the ability of light to push and pull on objects. Uh, this is a feature that we don't typically attribute to light because it's not part of our common experience. What I mean by that is if we turn on a light or open a door and feel the sun, we don't feel this push or pull. Right? But it turns out that if you focus a laser down with a lens to a very small region of space like we're doing here, it can actually pull on microscopic and nanoscopic particles. So in our experiment, what we're working with is 100 nanometer diameter diamond nanocrystals. To give you some reference, this is about 100 to 1,000 times smaller than the average diameter of a human hair. And what we do is we spray them into our vacuum chamber here, and they're attracted to the region where the, the laser is focused down to the smallest spot. Okay, in our experiments, what we do is we levitate these diamond nanocrystals, and we look at the light that comes back. Most people are familiar with diamonds, maybe from buying a, a diamond ring or diamond earrings, and when we talk about the quality of, of sort of conventional diamonds, there are the four C's, there's color, cut, clarity, and carrot. And from our perspective with our diamond nanocrystals, what we like are crystals that aren't very good from the perspective of color. So if you buy a diamond, you want it to be clear and look very nice. Our diamonds, we like them to be in some sense colorful because this is the light that we measure that comes back. One of the, the reasons that we're interested in this research is that the position of the crystal in the trap is a, a very sensitive probe of, of forces in its environment. And so friction is a force we're all familiar with. When we walk, our, our, our sneakers feel friction with the, the road, the cars drive because of friction between the tire and the street. What we don't understand is what happens if we, if we shrink things down to very, very small scales and how friction operates on objects. And the reason this is important is, is, is technology continues to shrink down to, to these length scales. Uh, we need to understand how the environment will interact with the devices that we're making. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.